Hey there. So uh, range bags. I needed a new range bag, I thought. For the past eight years or so, I've been using my Uncle Mike's range bag, and it's worked well. Big black, not big, but black, sturdy bag, kind of medium-sized, I would say. And it's worked well, but over the years, it's starting to fray. It's got kind of beaten down, but served me well overall. But I decided I want something new, so I started looking around. I wanted something in this same size, roughly the 9 by 15 kind of size. There's the next size up, which I thought for my needs of mostly just pistol stuff was a little bit too big. So I wanted something similar in size. Started looking around and I came across the proper bag. I reviewed some other proper stuff and I've liked it. And the proper range bag, pretty affordably priced at $59.99 and comes in two colors, olive and black. And with it being the same size, it seemed to have decent organization. So I went ahead and got one and so far I've been very happy with it. I had it for about a month taking it to the range several times. I like the organization, I like the interior colors of it, and uh, I will show you all that. So let's have a look at it. On the outside here, first there is a shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is adjustable and it's padded here. The pad slides and then you can adjust the length of the strap. If you don't want to use the strap, the strap just comes off and there are some D-rings here that can fit them in here. Interestingly, for some added, I guess maybe it not coming off, added strength of the, these, the D-ring here, there are two clips. Kind of interesting. So it's extra not going to come off, extra not going to come out there. It's an interesting little extra safety feature, I would say. On the top, there is a grab handle or two of them, which do Velcro together like that or apart, as it were, whichever you like. On the this side here, there is some, I'm just going to call it Velcro. It's hook and loop, but I'm going to call it Velcro for ease of use. Some Velcro up here. The proper logo here, and then there's some webbing that you can obviously attach any of a million things that you want to. And then there's a pocket here, which I'll show you in a little bit. Next side here, there is a, another pocket. There's a little pull tab here. There's more Velcro in here. And then the thing I like about all of the pockets on the inside of these bag, this bag is that they are all orange. So you can see down in there a lot easier. I like that. A lot of the newer bags, just like travel bags, backpacks, they come with the lighter colored insides. And on my Uncle Mike's bag, being all black, when you open it up, it was all black, big black cave in there. On this bag, I like it because the interior is all orange. So on this side, I have some gloves and some oil and some other miscellaneous stuff. Put whatever you want in there, obviously. And then over here on the, I'll call it the back, two pockets here that are open. What do I have in here? Oops, got a Surefire flashlight in there. And then another pocket here. And then third side, some more webbing. You can attach whatever you like back there. Pocket-wise, on the front here, the, pot, the zipper pulls. Here there are these kind of large rubberized ones. Same on the top here. And the zipper pulls on the other pocket are just two pieces of knotted paracord. But I like these large zipper pulls. Nice and easy. These pockets open up three sides. And then this one comes down. So on the this side of the pocket, there is a mesh webbed pocket. And then there are a spot here for six magazines. In my other bag, I had gotten a, a separate little magazine thing like this. And I would fill it up here. This held six magazines also. And I'd put my magazines in here, and then I would put it down in the bag. And I thought I liked that, but I really like this bag, being able to just have these all right attached here, pull them out, 12 round magazines, 17 round magazines. Uh, I like that and then stick whatever else you want in here. Pocket on the other side with the paracord zipper pulls. Also zips down on three sides and then this one's kind of interesting. So up here there is a similar mesh pocket to what was on the other side. And then over here there is this piece that folds out, kind of a gun rug mat as it were. And on the back here, it's rubberized. On this side, it's sort of a, I don't know what to call it, kind of a fuzzy, not felt, felt will be a weak word for what it is, but kind of that sort of kind of soft fabric. And so you can put things on here if you want to kind of roll this out at the range, have kind of a clean service. You could use this to clean stuff. You could, any number of uses. When you don't need it, it just folds right back in there. And if you don't want it at all, it just comes right off or you can Velcro it back in there. There's also this organizer here, which comes off, Velcro's on, and 
There's some straps here. You can put whatever other things. You can put this here. You can put it on the inside. Plenty of places. And then this just folds back up, zips back up. So I like the organization on the outside. Moving to the inside. The zipper poles, like I said, two big zipper poles here. The bag does lock right here. You can put it together and you can put a lock through here. The only thing I would say about the external zipper pocket here, I like it that it's nice and wide, but on the Uncle Mike's bag, it had this piece here and you could pull both zippers open at the same time and get into it. It was just slightly quicker for opening and closing. The downside is that because of the, the way that it was designed, you couldn't lock it. So on this, the trade-off is that, this is a small thing, I know, but the trade-off is that you have to unzip both sides and to get it open. Still the nice big wide opening. There's a little tab here if you want to do that. And then the inside. On the inside here, there is a little Velcro here for when you close the pocket, that will affix to there, and then you zip it, not that that's really totally necessary. But then, like I mentioned before, the inside is all orange. And then also on the inside, there are these dividers. These dividers are removable and movable. And on the sides of the, the bag on here, both sides, there is Velcro. And so these zipper, or these dividers come undone and you can move them to make three pockets. You can take them all out and you can put a couple pistol cases in here. Uh, also on the side of this, you could add some, some extra pouches, uh, maybe an IFAC, some other organizers. There's a ton of organizers that you can get to kind of Velcro to the side of it. For me, I have this sized in the middle. I put, made it the size to put some, some ammo boxes in over here. I have my eyes and ears and then some other miscellaneous stuff over here. So overall, I've had this for about a month. I've been really happy with it. I like it. It's a little bit lighter weight. I like it that the inside is a lighter color so you can see in there a little bit easier. I like it that it's not just one big pocket. It can be one big pocket, but you can also organize it. You can put extra pouches on the side. I really like the organization of this bag and for the price and the color and everything that goes with it, I think you should check one out, the proper range bag.